Last week was our second Mustang Musings Assembly of the Year. Let's get a recap. We had our second Mustang Musings Assembly of the Year last Thursday. We learned what our STEM crazy expectations look like in the hallway. In the hallway, we are curious when we say hi, when we are friendly and smile, and when we look for ways to help others. We're respectful when we keep our hands, feet, and other objects to ourselves. We keep away from classroom windows when classes are in session, and we use appropriate language and volume. We are accountable in the hallways when we are on time. We pick up and throw away trash. We have a hall pass when it's not passing time. We care for the school and others. We are zero quitting when we talk, walk with purpose to class. Students, you have done such an excellent job following the one-way hallway routine and really have helped our school to thin out the large crowds in the hallways. During the assembly on Thursday, Mr. Howe shared a strategy about which doors to use when entering either building that is helping to thin out the crowds even more. When you enter either building one or building two, your teacher's classroom of your next class will determine which door you should enter. If you're trying to enter classes in the B hall, you should enter building one through door two. This is the door on the northeast side of the building furthest from the field. If you're trying to enter classes in the A or C hall, you should enter building one through door three. This is the door closest to building two. If you're trying to reach a class in the north half of building two, enter the building through the doors nearest building one. However, if you have a class at the south end of the building, you should use the door in the middle section of building two. Remember, this is the only two-way hallway in the school, so you can enter and exit through that door. The SBOs helped Mrs. Lowry conduct another science experiment that taught us the importance of our school motto, try, fail, and try again until I succeed. Students were encouraged to try everything during their time at Westlake through a lip sync performance from our administration. Who could forget Mr. Howe's dance moves? Here they are in super slow motion, in case you missed it. Thank you to everyone who nominated teachers to perform a lip sync challenge during our next assembly. Don't miss Thursday's Mustang Musings Assembly for the big reveal. We also took a little time to discuss the Mustang Market. The Mustang Market is a school store where you can cash in your crazy points for chips, drinks, pencils, lanyards, water bottles, hoodies, bags, hats, and lots more. You earn crazy points by showing you are STEM crazy. At any point, teachers can scan the diamond side of your ID badge to award you, award you 25 crazy points. This week, they'll be looking to reward kids they see wearing their ID badges throughout class. You can find out how many crazy points you have by clicking on the Mustang Room link on our school website. Clicking on the crazy points link on the right side of the Mustang Room page, and then entering your student ID number. This year, you will make your Mustang Market purchases online at the beginning of the week and they will be delivered to you at the end of the week. We took a moment during our assembly to do a quick handbook minute. We read the portion of the handbook about the tiered consequences for repeated tardies. In addition to the crazy points we award for getting to class on time, we also enforce consequences when students are late repeatedly. Students will be required to make up five times the number of minutes they were late for class during a lunch detention. But remember, you can earn those minutes back by being early to your next classes. We finished the assembly by reviewing our earthquake procedures and conducting a drill. Remember, during an earthquake, students and teachers should stop, drop, and cover under desks, tables, or other protective locations. After the initial shaking has stopped for three minutes, evacuate the building. Teachers need to verify the student count and wait for further instruction. We'll hold our next Mustang Musings Assembly this Thursday at 7.55 a.m. We'll see you there.